In this video, I am using an early Mother's Day gift to put together a whimsical Mother's Day table setting. Keep watching. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe because I do videos on those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's jump into it. My daughter and her family sent me the sweetest Mother's Day gift. And it came last night and I thought, oh my goodness, let me show it to you. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? I just love it. Look at this handle. Look at the little flower right there. And even look at all the bling around the bottom. It's just absolutely beautiful. It even has its own little trivet there to go with it. And this beautiful little teaspoon that came with it. It's just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. And she FaceTimed me last night and she was like, did you get something in the mail today? And I'm like, yes, I was gonna call you. And this is what was in the box. And she said, well, we wanted to get you something that you could use when you're doing your videos, when you're doing your tablescapes. And I was like, how did she know? I had just recently seen a tablescape that was done by Pam at Creative Homescaping. And it was so whimsical and it made me think of Alice in Wonderland. And I thought, I have got to get some fancy whimsical teacups. And didn't I get two for Mother's Day? So I am thrilled with that. So this table is just a little bit of whimsy, and it's something that my mom would absolutely love because she likes birds, she likes flowers, she likes a little whimsy every now and then. So now let me just show you a little bit about what I've got going on on the table. So I only have two of these. I'll have to see if they'll send me two more for my birthday. But I've got two of these. And so I got out two other teacups that are just different. So here's one here that I picked up, oh, a couple of years ago. And I picked it up thrifting, but I love it. And it's got these beautiful poncettas on it. So look at there. And whereas poncettas mean Christmas around here, there's places in this country where poncettas grow all year round. But I just thought it was beautiful. And it had its own little saucer. So I got that out, and it certainly complements the green little accent plate that I've got on the table. Now let me show you that one. Now this one is just a sweet little cup and saucer with roses on it. And I got this from a friend years ago as a birthday gift. I've had it more than 20 years, but I've just kept it in my china cabinet. And so here's the saucer. But it's beautiful, and the greens and the pinks pick up the greens and pinks that's in my table covering, and also perfectly complements these green plates that I have here. So I'm just really pleased with the way this table turned out. So now let me show you the other elements on the table. Now I had been working on a tablescape earlier for Mother's Day in a collaboration with uh, Kimberly Davis at Deeper Designing on a Dime. So I will link that tablescape below so that you can check it out. But I had put this bird on the table in that tablescape. And that's also why I have this picture of my mom and me out because I had done a different setup with these. And I had also used these same plates, the white, the ivory plates on the bottom and the green accent plates. But I wanted to give it a little bit more of a whimsical look. So I brought out these live flowers, and these are the proven winners, Super Bell's Doublet Love Swept. And I love the pink and the white. I just love the colors of them, and they perfectly complement the floral in my table covering. And then back here, look, I've got a fairy. 
And I just love this little garden fairy. And she's holding a bird, one of my favorite of God's creatures. And she's facing this particular table setting. So if you're sitting here, you can take a look at the fairy. And if you're sitting there, you've got the side view of the bird up there. And of course, both people can see the flowers. And if you're on this side, then you've got this little bird here as a uh, point of view. So you've got the back of the fairy, but then you've got this little folk art bird right there. And I don't know, I just love it. I just love it, I love it, I love it. So tell me what you think about this little bit of whimsy in my table setting. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that the table covering is wrapping paper. Isn't this wrapping paper absolutely gorgeous? I did get this idea for using wrapping paper as a table covering from Lacey at Lacey Space. And I will try to find that video and link it below because I'm just telling you, it worked out beautifully. So now let me bring you up a little bit closer so you can see the tablescape just a little bit better. Oh, and before I do that, when we look at the place settings, I'm using the ivory plates as the charger because this is just going to be a little dessert tea. So we're going to have some desserts and we're going to have tea and we will also have some mimosas made with a little bit of champagne. So that's why there's only one piece of stemware on the table with our tea cups. So now let me bring you up just a little bit closer. And if you like tablescapes, I've got a lot of other tablescapes that I've done that I am very proud of. I will link a couple of them below just so you can check them out. I hope you enjoyed looking at my tablescape with just a little bit of whimsy. I love to set a pretty table. I just love it, love it, love it. I think we don't get our pretties out often enough. So whenever I get the opportunity to do that, I take advantage of it. So let me ask you this. How often do you get out your good stuff? How often do you get out your pretties just to enjoy them? Cause, because if you're not using them for your friends and your family, who are you saving them for? Tell me in the comment section below because inquiring minds want to know. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.